Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how to get to the fonts on Font Pack Pro Master Collection if you're running Yosemite and you cannot access the fonts since they're built into the font manager. So this is the link that you're probably going to have. Um, it's a DMG file, so go ahead and double click on it and mount it. You will see the Font Pack Pro Master Collection app uh, listed here. Um, instead of dragging it to the application like this, we're just going to keep it mount it over here. Uh, we're going to drag it over to the desktop here. Wait till it copies. Okay, you can go ahead and close this window and unmount that by dragging that to the trash. We're going to now hold down control and click on it. You're gonna, or you can right-click on it if you're using a two-button mouse. Um, you're going to click on Show Package Contents. And the contents are going to open up like this. This this is inside this app right here. You're going to expand this arrow of contents. You're going to expand the Resources arrow. And you're going to see... We're going to make this a little longer. And you're going to see a folder here called Fonts. Take that fonts folder, start dragging it out, but this time hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, the Option key. So you get this little plus sign, then let go. So what it's doing is it's copying the fonts from inside this app over to your desktop so you can access the fonts in case your font manager does not work on Yosemite. If you don't hold down the Alt or Option key, it's going to move it out of here. So what that's going to do is you won't have the fonts inside of the resources folder anymore. So make sure you have that green plus sign that you saw when dragging out the fonts folder. So go ahead and close this. Okay, so here are your fonts now that came inside of the Font Pack Pro Master Collection. And they're all listed right in here according to category. So let's say you want to preview this. Just press the space bar and you'll see a quick preview of that font. Now, if you want to, and by the way, if you press the space bar and you're in preview mode, you can use the down arrow to look at additional fonts in that list. If you double click on a font, you will get this window on from Fontbook. Notice how Fontbook automatically launches when you click on a font. You can say install font. Once it says installed, it's available for use in any application on your Mac, including Microsoft Word, Exchange, Mail, Photoshop, anywhere you want to use it. Okay, so it just got installed. See that right there? And it created another collection. We can actually rename this collection and just call this Font Pack Pro Master or whatever you want to call it. And that's it. Simply use it in any application. Now let's double click on this and that's simply it. So you can actually take this folder of fonts and move it anywhere you want on your hard drive, including applications, documents, etc.